We're talking about the Callaway Epic line of fairway wood. So they brought back the cool name of a best-selling club. They've changed a little bit of the design of the sole, but more importantly, there are some cool features about this that have changed, including the new jailbreak blades. With the Epic Speed fairway woods, you've got some higher ball speeds from the new jailbreak velocity blades. You've got some faster ball speeds that you can also attribute to the new miraging steel face. And then the center of gravity has moved forward in these as well so that you've got some uh, opportunity to hit some lower shots and shots that really do travel far. The Max has all of the same features as the Speed. However, you've got two adjustable weights in the bottom of the club that you can move around. You've got a two gram weight and a 14 gram weight. If you move the 14 gram weight forward, you have a very fast ball speed, very low spin fairway wood. Move the 14 gram weight all the way into the back of the club and you, now you've got a super forgiving, high launch, high spin fairway wood. So out of these two, you have one that's really built for uh, someone who's looking for low launch, low spin, distance type of fairway wood that you might hit off the fairway and do a par five. And you have the Epic Max, which can really do the same thing. It's got a bit more adjustability as well. I'm interested in trying this one with our resident fairway wood hitting expert, Dave Balter. Dave, let's hit some three woods. Dave. Nick. You fairway wood hitting machine. I yes. can't wait to see you hit these. Is that my title on the video? How many Can times you do it? you go home and someone calls you that? Rarely. Yeah, every day. Huh? <laughs> Dave, hit this thing out there. I want okay. to see what happens. It does look cool on the bottom. It looks some way cool white, on the bottom. Some green. Your yep. friends are going to know it. The head covers look cool. The shafts are mainly black with a little bit of green uh, on the paint. I think this is pretty cool. How'd you hit that one? Very well. Push, tiny draw, Push, nailed tiny it. Push, tiny draw. Yep, I'm nailed concerned it. for some people to pull this out. I would not play this if I was a notoriously low spin player. So if you have a hard time with your driver keeping it up into the air, this probably isn't for you. This yep. next one is though. Okay. However, anyone who's got some faster ball speeds like you're demonstrating there, that went 297. Nice job. It says 299 there, but that's lying. You launched it at 14 <laughs> with 3,200 RPMs of backspin. That's a really good uh, yep. way to play that. Felt great. Uh, you want to try the Max? Let's try the Max. That would be good for you, though. If you nailed all of them like that, it would be awesome. Epic Max. This one has some adjustable weights in it, and you're able to hit this one. You can control the tradge a little bit. Control that the That trendy tradge. word. You can That's, hit it higher or lower, put some more spin on it by where you put these uh, the weights in the club. I saw a video talking about the tradge yeah, recently. Yeah, those are good videos, absolutely. Also, I used to have a dog named Max. Huh, yeah? yeah he died. Really? Huh, good story. Very uh, heartwarming here. Now that's really nice though. <laughs> Max would that have been was proud. Well. That, that, was a, you, that was for Max. That so. one you nailed. It is a little more draw bias. Yep. And I have this actually set up to be the, the lower spinning, longer distance type of category for this club. 284, push draw basically on the target. That felt really, really that's, good. That <laughs> felt good? Okay. Yeah. Let me move that weight around. Kay. I want to put this one in the back now. Do it. So we've got two weights to move. So this is going to take me a second. So this isn't overly hard. They just uh, screw and unscrew with your standard wrench that came with the driver. These are not adjustable at the hosel, which enabled them to save a little bit of weight, potentially, to help you do this. I don't see this too much in the most forgiving fairway wood. That's what really had me caught off guard. Like right. the, uh, the Callaway Sub-Zero that they had, you, could, uh, you can typically adjust the driver itself, which is already for the better players and the lower spinning type of players to alter it, but not really in the fairway woods like this. So this is neat. So we're gonna move this uh, 14 gram weight to the back of the club. Okay. Two grams in the front. That moves your center of gravity away from the club face, further behind, and allows you to have a touch more spin. And the MOI, or the forgiveness of this, is gonna go up as a result. Okay. Haven't measured how much yet, but that's a pretty significant amount of weight to be able to move around. You liked it with the forward set and the 14 grams, but let's try the back. Oh, a little behind again. A little behind it, Not bad, but even though. that is going to launch higher. And yep. you can see you can that. see it there. there. Yep. So if you want a little higher launch, uh, touch more spin, this will be a good yep. path for you, which I think is, is better if you want to use a three wood or a five wood to hit a green frequently. If you have those in two holes, this is probably yep. a better setup for you. That swing was more for my dog TJ. She's a bad dog. I like TJ. TJ is the little white one, right? No, the chocolate lab mix. Yeah, same thing. That's yeah. what I said. You were close. That was, that's what I said. So this one's for TJ. High launch, high spin. Good dog. Hit well, a little left. A little on the toe? Maybe. Actually, it felt pretty, pretty clean. Good? Okay. 
So the center of gravity on this one is going to be more heelward, which gives you the draw yep. bias. So I think that's the result you would yep. you'd get more often than not if you uh, ever so slightly yeah, missed it. Yeah, because I think with this club, that was my longest one. So that one definitely felt clean. Yeah, that or one it was right far. there. So. Okay. Yep. Nice. What do you think? You, would you approve of these? Definitely would approve of these. Okay. Yeah, I like them both. They both look good, the and I could probably player. play either one. Yeah. It just depends on the type of player you are and what characteristics you're looking for. But uh, if you want to hit some high launching, long fairway woods like Dave the fairway wood hitting machine just did, the place to do that is at Golf Tech. So if you're interested in getting fit for these, uh, make a club fitting appointment now and find a local Golf Tech coach near you.